love family it's your girl nashe what's up what's good tonight i have a little treat for you we're going to be talking about my coach gallery tote in the color iris seriously thank you guys for getting me over that 500 mark that was a goal of mine and i am so happy that we made it this is definitely a we thing not just a me thing big big shout outs to my old subscribers and now the new ones that's joined the family we definitely are doing a giveaway i'm definitely planning that we'll be talking about that very soon and until then you all let's get into this video can i just tell you that I absolutely love this tote bag. OMG. Now I understand why we bag people always end up getting not one, but two, three bags, same style, different color. Because honestly, I want this in black. I want this in a coach signature print. I want this in a nice wintry color. But we're not doing that today. Today, we're going to go ahead and be grateful for this beautiful iris tote bag. And I'm gonna show you everything that I was able to put inside. She's a beautiful purple color. I'm gonna make it work because honestly, she works. So let's go ahead and jump right into this bag and see what I carry today and what I'll be carrying for the next week. Let's get it. So one of the things that I really love about this bag is the fact that it has beautiful silver hardware. I like to wear silver jewelry and the silver next to this iris color is right on point, okay? You did good, coach, all right? So I love that. This smooth zipper right here opens up nicely. Can you see that? That is nothing to sneeze at. That is a beautiful, smooth zipper opens up nicely here is the overview first thing right on the top of the bag is this catalog as you saw from the earlier clips my daughter and i walked around a little bit today had some fun and we did end up in the free people store and so i grabbed this catalog because one i liked all the images in there and two I never pass up magazines and catalogs. These are great for collages. It's great for junk journals. So why would I give up? Why would I walk away? So this is going right into my catalog collection for future use. So on the top of the bag, I am feeling this right here. This is a bandana that I had picked up at Walmart. I was expecting to be able to wear it on my head today, but it just wasn't working. So I just stuck it in the bag because it'll work at some point in the future. Just wasn't happening today. No problem, moving right on. Deep in the depths of this bag, we have my bathroom pouch. It's a cute little transparent looking purplish pouch that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and she definitely holds everything really well. I have my typical stuff, you know, we have girly goods in here. We have hand sanitizer. I now have some flushable wipes and of course my makeup wipes and Lysol and portable toothpaste tablets and girly wipes and lotion and neosporin, neosporin cream. So yeah, it's your typical bathroom pouch with everything I would need and my kids would need if we are out and about. So it says whatever and I love her. Let's see what else I feel deep down. Okay, here we have another purple-ish little um, wristlet. In this wristlet, I decided to put my electronics, like um, I decided to put my cords and that sort of thing that I would need. So I am not caught out when I'm on the road and I don't have anything to charge my phone with. So this always comes in handy. I feel another pouch and it's going to be this pretty little purplish looking one is giving mermaid vibes to me. I love the iridescence. So in this pouch, I have some, what I would call office supplies. We have my scissors in here. It's simply a coincidence that it's purple because I didn't plan that. But we have some scissors, some whiteout. I have my lovely 
handy dandy flashlight in here and things of that nature. I also have, my, my daughter was so surprised, but I also have glue in here because you never know when you have like a moment that you have to glue something down. That kind of stuff happens in my life all the time. So this came in really, really handy. Now I must say that these pouches that you see featured in this video, most of these pouches actually come from the Dollar Tree. So I really lucked out to find a really nice set of different purples that I thought would go nice in this bag. Moving right along. So here is another Dollar Tree find, right? So funny story is that I've been looking for these for just about two years. My Dollar Tree, the one closest to me, never had them. And I would see you all flaunting yours and showing how beautiful it was, how versatile it was, but I, my dear, could not find it anywhere. So when I saw my local Dollar Tree finally have them, trust and believe your girl grabbed a whole stack in different colors. This one happens to be the lovely purple and it goes really well with the bag. Inside this, I have basic makeup stuff. Most important thing I have in here, I would think at the moment, is my Fenty powder. And I do have some lippies down in the bottom. I've seen people use this for pencils. I've seen people use it for different types of supplies. But for me, it's going to serve as a makeup case makeup holder. Moving right along. So I use my Coach wallet. I don't remember the exact name of this Coach wallet. Again, I'm new to Coach Outlet, so I don't know everything about Coach and her names and the names that go with all these pieces, but this wallet right here came in super duper handy. I think I've shown this wallet before in a previous video, but I find it to be very handsome. I find it to be very, very user friendly and not only that it does have its own little spot right here for coins i happen to be using this little spot for some extra keys but nonetheless it's pretty versatile and i absolutely love her moving right along So this is some incense, and yes, it was planned. It's purple. I love this incense. It's called the Relax and Calm. Relax and Calm the F Down, okay? Loved the name. And the company that I got it from was a super cute company that I found on Instagram. I don't think they're in business anymore, but while they were, I was able to grab some cool items from them. This happens to be one of them, and it does give off like a lavender type scent. It definitely is designed to help you to calm the F down. And yes, your girl does need that every now and then. So this was in there just in case I had a moment where I had to light up some incense and sit down and just chill. Thankfully that didn't happen today, but just in case it did, I was prepared. All righty. Here's my glasses case. I kind of like the black pieces with the purple. I think black and purple is super cute. I also love like hot pink and black. So it's giving me a very sexy vibe. You guys let me know what you think. Do you like black and purple together? Cause I certainly do. And it went well with my outfit today, which was pretty basic. I had on some black jeans and it just kind of did what it needed to do. Okay, it just did what it needed to do. Let's move on. Of course, we have the handy dandy travel size calendar. I hardly go anywhere without this. So here we are staying organized, staying one step ahead of things and making sure we get things done. Yes, this always comes in handy for me. So I had to have her with me. And I believe that's everything in the main compartment of the bag. In the back pockets, I have this small little dark purple um, wristlet, and I did pick this up also from the Dollar Tree a while ago. In here, I have some extra jewelry. So I have some hoop earrings, and I have more Afrocentric type earrings in here. And um, sometimes I'll have like a necklace or something in here, but today I just have like this little beaded situation going on is kind of tangled right now but i like 
of late to have with me some extra jewelry pieces because I'm the type that I would run out the house without my jewelry pieces and I'll end up feeling so naked. So to prevent that, we have this. All right, so that was the back pocket. I think I have another few things in that pocket as well. Let's see. All right, so I have hand sanitizer. I like to have these type of things in the larger back pocket because you could just grab it, keep it moving. No need to fish around in a tote. You need the hand sanitizer ASAP. You grab it and you keep it moving. So that's in the back pocket. This little cutie right here, this, this has to be probably the most adorable thing in this bag. Will you take a look at this? This is actually a lip gloss, okay? And while I love, I love what's going on here, this is the ice cream cone and it's purple. Okay, it's an ice cream cone, it's purple, but the only thing about it is it has this little well, right, that you have to kind of stick your finger in. Not a huge deal. We all have those glosses and lip balms that we have to stick our finger in but it's so tight and it's just not comfortable sticking my finger in there so i am going to use it because honestly this little thing is so compact and so cute i can't get rid of her and it also serves as a little holder for anything else so i mean maybe you have some pills some lotion maybe some other stuff that you want to drag around with you and keep it in something cute this is super super adorable for that so i'm definitely hanging on to this and i'll def definitely be using this again once i finish with this lip balm i'm also tempted to kind of dig out the lip balm and just get to using it for other purposes it's super cute and i love it what do y'all think another dollar tree find We'll put it right here for now. All right, moving right along. I'm in the other pockets. Oh, and the, another thing that I had, of course, was the little coach tag thing that comes in the coach bags. So I'll stick that right back in there. Now, it does have two other pockets on the front. And let's see what we have in the first one. So I have this right here. Now this also comes from the Dollar Tree. I thought it was super cute. It's dark purple with rainbows, right? And inside I have kept my pretty purple pens. I told you guys that I'll be trying to hang out, trying to have some cute pens in my bag and not overdo it. But here we are with the pretty purple ones that you all saw featured in my last video when I unboxed this bag with my daughter. So I do have them with me in here. And these right here, these little pouches are actually eyeglass cases. They'll hold your pencils and anything else that you actually need to hold. So I really like this and it does come in very handy. And in the next pocket, I have a packet of tissue so i had to go ahead and get some more of these miss t had sent me some earlier a few weeks back and i ran through them and i definitely loved the cute little packaging so i had to get some more so that's what we have right there and you guys that is basically everything that i have in this tote like i said truly loved this carry very comfortable when I did the unboxing, I realized that it does not pass the elbow test 100%, but that is okay. She redeemed herself today being an amazing carry. Despite everything that I had in here, I didn't feel the weight, so she's very, very light, and I can appreciate that. I just, I have no complaints with this bag right now. The only thing is that I want her in other colors, but I'm going to slow myself down. I'm going to calm down. I'm going to enjoy this moment, enjoy this color and I'm gonna keep it pushing right now. There possibly could be a purchase of another gallery tote in the future in a darker color just to serve me for the next few months or into the next year, who knows, but as of right now today, your girl is super pleased with this beauty.
So just for a quick overview, again, beautiful color is Iris. We have silver hardware, two straps here. I forgot to mention this back pocket. I didn't even utilize this back pocket today, but yes, we have a great back pocket. Look at that size, you all. When I open this pocket up, let's see how deep it is. You can definitely get some keys in here and I think it is large enough, certainly large enough for a cell phone. So that is awesome. We also have no feet on the bottom, but that is all right. Look at that nice size. The girl is packing, okay? You can put a lot of junk in this trunk. And so, yeah, you all, honestly, I think this might be one of my favorite totes. This might definitely be one of my favorite totes. Do you have a gallery tote in your collection? If you do, how do you feel about your gallery tote? I absolutely love mine. She is my first. She probably won't be my last knowing me, but like I said, I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna go slow with this baby, but um, I'm really, really enjoying her. And that's it, folks. Thank you all for letting me share, and I will talk to you all soon. Peace and love.